Four years ago, two small town churches partnered up to create two organizations to benefit the community and surrounding areas of Bremer County. They are known as Helping Hands Clothing Closet and His Hands Food Pantry. On average, 100 clients take advantage of the free necessities offered. Cedar Valley Today's Alyssa Kozak has more on the story. We started hearing of the need in the community for affordable clothes, um, especially as the economy was dropping and um, people were really struggling. Um, even places like uh, Goodwill and uh, Trinkets and Togs and um, other consignment stores around the area were still too expensive for a lot of families to afford. Helping Hands Clothing Closet is open two days a week and every first Saturday of each month. They are always looking for donations and volunteers to help go through the clothes or stock the shelves at the two locations. Lori Meyer, the coordinator of Helping Hands Clothing Closet, says there is nothing more rewarding than to see the faces of families when they find something they like. There is nothing that um, can pay you in that amount uh, for the good feeling that you do get. Uh, when the little girl finds the perfect dress and she tries it on and twirls it, it's uh, very rewarding. And, uh, you know, the parents, of course, are thankful. And uh, so we feel like we're doing the Lord's work. So. Both the clothing closet and the food pantry are open for donations of clothing, food, or monetary. Right now, they are in need of winter coats of all sizes, snow pants, winter boots, blankets, sheets, towels, diapers, toiletries, and baby food. There is no limit of how many articles of clothing an individual takes, but there is a limit as to how much food a family gets. Every person in your family gets 10 pounds of food of their choice, and then there's also a lot of items that you get on top of that 10 pounds, depending on what's been donated. People can donate fresh produce, fresh bread, eggs, or milk, which will not count as a family's 10 pounds. In Pasha Burrow's eyes, both organizations have helped the community members learn that there is a need for clothing and food in the area and to really make a difference. Reporting for Cedar Valley Today, I'm Alyssa Kozak. For more information on how to volunteer or donate, please visit the Warburg Circuit.